hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is faith and today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video and it's from officer tatum and it's titled data walker goes off on non-binary passenger crying over being misgendered you guys i'm super excited as always if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about and if you want to continue Ooh. i have full authority escort you out the building right this moment if you want to play that game with me okay. <laughs> would you like to continue three days before christmas I delta worker want all the smoke Here is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the merch link in the description section. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, the Delta uh, worker at the gate wanted all the smoke. And I know that the person probably had no intentions to be rude or disrespectful, but these people of the alphabet soup community, <laughs> They're doing the too much. the people of the, the trans dysphoria, mm -hmm. they cannot help themselves for wanting all the attention. I think it's yeah. narcissistic behavior to think that everybody should acquiesce to your own delusion. Mm -hmm. It's it's called narcissism. It's sick. And people get sick of the narcissism. It's like, look, man, you knew when you woke up this morning and looked in the mirror, you were a half breed, which means that you look st you still look like a man although you're trying to look like a woman. You knew it when you looked in the mirror. Yeah. You knew you still have a 5 o'clock shadow. Mm -hmm. You know you're 6'3". <laughs> With, with, with a big old head and big old hands. You know you don't quite make it there. So when you get to a position where you're in public and people misgender you on accident because they don't know what the you're doing. Wow, you guys, this is very, very funny. Officer Tatum's analysis is quite funny because the way he is analyzing this guy is totally out of this world. I love when he said the guy looks sisterly, his hands, everything is built like that of a man. And you are trying to convince people so badly that you are a woman or you are being misgendered. I don't understand what is going on in some people's head when it comes to this gender ideology, because I feel that this is a sickness that needs to be addressed. I don't know how you can look all dude up and expect that people should address you as a woman when you don't look anything close to a woman. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. And this is really, really funny. You guys, let's continue watching. Have a little grace and mercy like you would want them to have on you. So have a little grace for people that don't understand what you're doing. But when y'all get out and act a fool and get mad at each other, you're misgendering me and all this. You're not showing them any mercy and grace, so they're not going to show you no grace. Exactly. And then you're going to get what you got from the Delta worker, which let y'all fire this man. Let y'all fire this man. I'm, I'm going to do a GoFundMe for him. Because I feel like employees should not have to be bullied by people who want to live in their own delusion. Yeah. The man said he, he accidentally or wasn't intentionally misgendering you. And if the other person supposedly did it or not, it's irrelevant. You don't get to bludgeon people because of your own stuff. What about when an adult employee misgenders I'm you so intentionally? Sorry, while, she's talk, while he's talking, you're talking. You just misgendered me again. Yeah. Okay. Multiple times. Gotcha. Both of you have. Sorry. Wasn't intentional, but if you yeah. want to take it personal, that's also. Well, okay. she did do it intentionally twice. Gotcha. So you're talking to me too. Intentional. You said she and then you said he. You're being condescending, and if you want to continue, Ooh. I have full authority escort you out the building right this moment. If you want to, I play love that. Game. that. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to continue three days before Christmas? Mm -hmm. I really don't mind. I'm good. I'll just put this on. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch that again. That That's again. really I, funny. I, you rarely see people standing. What about when knuckleheads, man? I need to watch this again. What about when adult employee misgenders you so intentionally? Sorry, while she's talk, while he's talking, you're talking. You just misgendered me again. Yeah. Okay. Multiple times. Gotcha. Both of you have. Sorry. Wasn't intentional, but if you yeah. want to take it personal, that's also. Well, okay. she did do it intentionally twice. Gotcha. You're talking to me too. Intentional. You said she, and then you said he. You're being condescending, and if you want to continue, Ooh. I have full authority escort you out the building right this moment. If you want to play that game with me. Okay. Would you like to continue exactly. three days before Christmas? I really don't mind. I'm good. I'll just put this on. What about? I'm good. I just put this on. Stop playing. 
Y'all, it looked like where they at? Uh, Atlanta, Georgia. His accent don't seem like Atlanta. Maybe they flying to Atlanta. You want to play with somebody that's sick of your mess, then you're going to get the reaction like this. I don't think he's wrong. What do y'all think? In the comment section, let me know. Do you think? I totally agree with what Officer Tatum said right here. I do not think that the data worker is wrong in any way because this guy is obviously getting on their nerves. And when someone gets on your nerve for too long, all you have to do is attack them back and i really love what this guy said in this video i love that he stood his ground because the other guy that is crying that he's being misgendered obviously sounds like a man and even if i can't say what he looks like in this video i can tell that this person that is talking is nothing but a man leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up you guys do you think that the D delta gay agent is wrong or do you think he was justified in what he said I think he was justified. Like, you don't just get a, to be condescending mm -hmm. and a jerk to people just because they're yeah. in service. You don't get to treat people like that. They cannot deal with you. Even when I was a cop, man, I was like, hey, look, man, I'm, I'm not going to argue with you. You want to be a nut, we can leave. We don't have to be here. We, we, we don't have to respond to a call so you can berate us for 30 minutes. Do you, 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 are you actually making a complaint or not? Because we're not going to just yeah. show up so you can harass us mm -hmm. and talk crazy to us and, and try to invoke a, a negative reaction out of police officers. If you don't have a legitimate complaint, we need to go help other mm -hmm. people. And I love the fact that the brother stood up for himself because people are getting sick of this, man. You know, hey, look, I mean, even if somebody intentionally misgender you, it's, it's like, what do you care? Yeah. It's one person. Mm -hmm. majority of the people in the, in the world couldn't care less and they're not even trying to talk to you. And to be honest, yeah. there's no such thing as misgendering a person who's clearly a man trying to be a woman. All the demand that a person should have in that transgender theology is that they call you by your government issued name mm -hmm. or your government name. The name that's on your government issued ID. I'm not saying government issued name because your parents supposedly issued your name. But I guess people do go and change their names. But that's the only requirement that you have. If I see a person that's transgender or whatever, and I'm not comfortable with recognizing what they're trying to do, just, just let me call you your name. And if you're a man and your name is Sally, I'm going to call you. If your, your government name is Sally, on record, I'll call you Sally. I don't need to do the pronoun game. What's your name? Your name is this? Okay, that's all I'm going to call you your name. You can figure out what gender you are today. Because what happens if you're gender fluid? Then how do people also know what you're doing? Unless you've got gender fluid on your forehead. Man, that kind of... Pause. Super pause. Gender fluid on your forehead. <laughs> Let me get out of here before I go to... Before I say something I regret. I'll see y'all on the next one. Gender fluid. <laughs> that was such an interesting one from Officer Tatum. And I really had fun reacting to this particular video. Let me know what you guys think about this altercation that happened between the data worker and the passenger and what would you have done if you happens to be in the data worker show leave your thoughts in the comment section down below really had fun reacting to officer tatum if you guys totally enjoyed watching leave this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys